Hey, welcome back. Today, we're gonna check out the awesome table by BPW. This is Starship Troopers. And when I say check out, I mean we're gonna do a full tutorial and a follow-up playthrough right here, right now, on Digital Victory. This is Starship Troopers by VPW. You know it's a good table if VPW does it. The physics are through the roof incredible and just look at it. It's awesome. The sounds and music are true to the real life machine. Great table. Now the object of the game is to clear all five planets of bugs, alien bugs, and then defeat the final sixth planet, Clendethal. But before we get to that, let's talk about a few of the items around the table do our regular kind of table tour of the table elements. Some of the elements here, right in the middle, you see the big status board showing the planets that you have to defeat, as well as the bugs that you have to defeat as well. And each of them has an LCD that will show you exactly how many you need to defeat. Very cool. Around the infield there, you'll see all these inset targets, and they'll light up depending on which bugs you gotta hit in order to defeat them. On the left and right, on the outside, you got typical orbits. Inside of those, you got your basic ramps with some specific mechanics uh, connected with the right ramp. You got your rollovers up top. This is your warrior lane right there. You got your basic pop bumpers, and just under those, you got that scoop. And on the left over here, you have a sinkhole. The two flippers at the bottom are interesting because they're offset, they're not perfectly centered as you see. I think that's an interesting feature. And you also have that little tiny flipper just above that. Now the object of the game is to clear these six planets here of alien bugs. All right, so it'll start on the first and these particular windows right here show you the four different kinds of aliens. Warriors, hoppers, plasma, and tankers. You have targets for each of the different color aliens that you face and they'll be lit up and you hit it and what that'll do is that'll reduce the aliens that you have by one of each of that particular color so if you have to defeat six warriors you have to hit six yellow targets so here's here's the key when you're going after those alien lights to to defeat each of the aliens if you hit them with the flippers you kill an alien if you use that little flipper on the right, which is controllable with your Magna Save button, any balls you hit with that that hit an alien take out two aliens. So it can be very helpful. But I'll be honest with you, to me, it was just easier to use regular flippers. That was an added distraction that I didn't need. If you have real good hand-eye though, that's the way to go. Real simple and pretty fun. It starts out a little easy with the first couple planets with the warriors and hoppers that you gotta defeat. Then you start adding the plasma and then the tanker aliens. And those get a little tougher each time and there's more aliens each time. Also, the further you go, the less targets of each aliens are lit up for you to hit. So it gets a little harder as you go. But that's the goal of the game, is to defeat all five original planets. And then at the end, you gotta face Klembathu, which is your basic wizard mode. Now when you hit the last bug on the planet, it activates the brain bug mode. And the brain bug will appear, it rises up out of the table, and it's a stand-up target that pops up that you have to hit. It's a timed mode. You only have to hit it once on the first level. Second level, the second planet, you have to hit it twice. Third planet, you gotta hit it three times, etc. To capture it, you have to hit it with the ball this certain amount of times that we talked about. However, if you don't capture it in that small amount of time, Either way, the situation on the table advances to either advance to the next planet or start a multi-ball. We'll get to those in a second. Let's finish up the brain bug first. It's a very short timed mode and it's a very dangerous thing to hit because it's so low and when you hit it, it comes rocketing back and can often go right down the middle. I particularly don't really even go for the brain bug mode. Many others don't do so at your own risk. So once the brain bug is gone, whether you kill him or not, okay, that'll arm the nuke hole on the left, and that'll also light up the scoop there for the recon scoop. Now both of those are lit up, and you can hit either one to advance. 
to the next planet. However, if you hit the recon mode, it automatically advances to the next planet. If you hit that arm nuke hole, that'll start a short two ball multi ball in which your jackpots are multiplied times the number of planets that you've defeated so far. So really, you don't even want to get that multi ball until you've got two, three, four planets under your belt. Otherwise, it's kind of a waste. If you hit the recon scoop instead, that automatically advances to your next planet. You get the number of bugs you got to hit, and then you go on to try and beat that. If you're able to defeat all five planets, that starts the wizard mode, which is trying to defeat the planet Clendothal. Now the planet Clendothal, it's your basic wizard mode. You shoot the scoop to start it, and it's a 30 second unlimited balls where even if you lose it, they're gonna pop out, more, more will continue to come. To finish it though, you gotta kill nine of each bug, and then you gotta make all five noob shots around the table. They'll light up, you hit them. If you do, it's worth 50 million. Once you finish that, if you do, it starts all over again. Now, some of the other modes you got going on on this game are a regular multi-ball, which is usually my goal when I play, and that's done here in the warrior lane. Technically, it's called the live fire assault range multi-ball. Now, you hit it up there a certain amount of times, and I think it's just three times the very first time you do it, and then shoot it in there again to start it. Each time you do it though, it increases and it's a little more difficult. So it's a four ball multi-ball and the ramps are the jackpots. Now, once you hit some of the ramps, you can go for the super jackpot, which is that same lane, the warrior lane where you started it. Now, if you happen to go through that whole multi-ball and don't get a single jackpot, on your last ball, you'll have 15 seconds to hit that sinkhole again for a new multi-ball. Only one more ball comes out though, so it's just a two ball multi-ball but at least it's a little bit of charity for you. Now another multi-ball is the orbit multi-ball and it's the two outside lanes here, the two orbits. You have to hit six orbit shots when they're lit to start the orbit multi-ball. How do you light them? When the ball goes through the in lane at the bottom of the table, that automatically lights the opposite side orbit. Anyway, once you've gotten three on one side, you lock one multi-ball. Once you've gotten three on the other side, you lock that one and then that starts the orbit multi-ball. It's a two ball multi-ball and the orbits themselves are the jackpots and they're five million each. Now the first two complete loop shots, if you're able to hit those, you'll add a ball. You can do it twice for a total of four balls on the table during this multi-ball. I find that one a little more difficult to get started so I generally concentrate on the other one. Now there's a few other random things here. This is the recon scoop. This little scoop here is your basic kind of random award that you have in many pinball machines. One of the differences on this one though is that there's levels. Uh, level one awards are very basic. Level six awards can be really good, like an extra ball. So the higher the level, the higher the award. The awards themselves, although they're lighter at the start and more impressive at the end, they're your basic pinball kind of awards. You might get a free uh, five million points. You might defeat some of the bugs automatically. There's two of them that start quick two ball multi balls. Some of the better awards are of course extra ball. Now there are other ways to get extra balls too. There's actually five ways of getting the extra ball. Number one is the recon random award that I mentioned. Number two is 15 shots to the unlit nuke hole on the left. So when it's not lit up you happen to hit it. If you get a total of 15 hits you get the extra ball lit up. The extra ball can be gotten by that same hole, by the way. So when it lights up there, hit it in there for the extra ball. That's the second way. The third way is to hit 50 total ramps. Once you've hit 50 total ramps, you'll light up that extra ball light, shoot it in there to get it. Now during a regular multi-ball, you can hit all the bug stand-ups on the table while you're playing it, and that'll light up that extra ball as well. The final way to get an extra ball is to suck. <laughs> because if you get into that third ball, and you're less than 25 million, it's gonna automatically be lit for an extra ball. I like the way it kinda helps you. Believe me, I, <laughs> I've used it before and I was grateful for it. Now let's talk about the skill shot real quick. The skill shot is when you shoot it up there in the three openings up top, your basic pinball rollovers, well, one of them will be lit. And if you can manipulate with the flippers that light, if you're able to match it where the ball comes down, you get the uh, skill shot. Now those rollovers up top also have the basic bonus features like most pinball machines do. If you get all three lit at once, you can raise the bonus multiplier times two, times three, times five. 
very useful. Now over here, this new coal on the left, it's got an interesting feature about rank. You can raise your rank during the game. Uh, if you hit it four times, you're a squad leader. If you hit it ten times, you can become a corporal. And those comes with little bonuses too. Your squad leader will give you five million. When you become a corporal, you'll get ten million. And that's your basic tutorial of the machine. Not super complicated, uh, but a blast. You get a free game at 90 million. However, I'm making 100 million my goal. 100 million is the goal here. Let's do it. Starship Troopers, let's go, let's do it. Let's kill us some alien bugs, clear out some of these planets, ideally all of them. Get a couple of multi-balls. Let's go. So trying to hit these blinking targets, the yellow and greens, for the yellow and green bugs that we got to kill. So I'm watching one of my favorite YouTube channels, Pinstrats Dan, and he's playing some tables and he's doing a stream playing this one and many others, but he's playing this one and he's kicking butt. He's really good at it and he's working the table like a maestro. Totally inspired me to do this tutorial because I want to get good at this table. And thank you, Pinstrats Dan. Appreciate the inspiration there. Great table. He's a great player too. So if you're not subscribed to his channel, check it out. Pinstrats Dan, the link is below. All right, now all we need is yellow. Hey, God bless these amazing physics, huh? This is a VPW table, which always have the great physics. So much fun to play. Oh, shoot. Come on, now. That is not the start I was hoping for. Shoot. Well, long way to go to 100 million, but we're going to keep chasing that. <laughs> Are you kidding? Thank God we had a ball save. One more yellow bug. Let's go. There we go. Trying to get in the recon hole. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'll take it. Not a big deal, but prefer not to get that multi-ball quite yet. Screw around, man. That's what you get. Trying to get cute. Kill some more aliens. Okay, we finished that planet. Oh, jeez. Come on. Unbelievable. Terrible bounce, man. Terrible bounce. Well, here we go. Time for a miracle. 100 million points is a long ways away, but you never know. We can make this happen. Hey, extra ball, let's go. The bad news is we suck so far. The good news is they gave us a charity extra ball. <laughs> We need a multi-ball here. That's... I could do anything without that multi-ball. Oh, 
Uh-oh. Woo! That frightened me. Unbelievable. Well, extra ball chance. Here we go. I'm hanging on to my last shred of hope. Hey, hit that like button if you think I could do it, guys. We can do it. Come on. <laughs> Multi-ball. It's a good start. Let's go. Orbits are lit, okay. Potential multi-ball there. But I missed the orbit. Ah, I missed it again. There we go. Missed that orbit again. And again. Oh, only one more green, green bug to go, though. No! Oh shoot! Didn't get the hundred million. Oh man, I was on a roll. I thought I was gonna get it. I really did. But it didn't happen. Ninety-one million. A hey, hell of a comeback with uh, that crappy early first ball. But I'll take it, guys. This is Starship Troopers from VPW, an absolute gem. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.